what's up everybody and welcome to your channel cyber astra so in this video we would be looking into the technique of uh, android hacking or mobile phone hacking using the parrot operating system or the kali linux which both are same it's just the matter of fact that we need to use the tool which is msf console or the mat exploit so let's see how we do it without wasting the time so the first thing first is we need to uh, generate the payload which we would be sending to our target and uh, to use that we just need to uh, type the command msf venom let me show you uh, you can also check the uh, number of payloads you know since there are number of payloads available for uh, different uh, flavors of operating system or the devices like uh, for this video we are using the android payload you can use the windows or the linux or unix let me show you how to check it and the command is l for list and all that will show you all the payloads available that you can use according to your uh, preference uh, that might take a while to load so once it's done i'll show you all right so now you can see uh, the payloads that are available and the options for msf venom these are the list of payloads and uh, the one which we would be using is on the top that is related to android all right so let's copy this payload since we would be using this and you can see the description as well uh, about every payload that is available here in the list right, so let's copy this and now let's generate our payload all right so msf venom IP address that our local system is using right so that is the IP address let's copy that as well so we could be absolutely sure that whatever we are doing is correct and paste it uh, let's use the port for communication I would use simply 1234 that depends on your preference you can use whatever you want um, and then the raw file that we would be generating let's uh, generate the payload on the desktop so that we can easily find it so the desktop and the name of the file could be like updater apk so that will generate the payload the apk file onto the desktop as you can see here few more points that I would like to explain about this file so you know this file should not be like 0 KB or something like that otherwise it will not work it means the payload was not created or something was wrong in the command itself so always check the payload size uh, should be something like this or at least should not be 0 so that has been created now let me show you quickly uh, what are the permissions or what are the codes you know which are generated into this uh, apk file so for that we have a very you know handy or i would say uh, easy quick tool inbuilt into the parrot or the kali operating system which is apk tool for that we need to go to the uh, directory where the payload is generated uh, that's on the desktop right so that's the file now let me show you what i was talking about uh, for that apk tool for displayed and the name of the file is updater and here you can see a directory is created so everything you know the uh, the codes and the uh, supported file would be deflated into this and I will show you the permission of this file which we have created you can see uh, the uses permission Android permission internet access Wi-Fi state so you know these are the permission which you find in every application whenever you download any app from the play store you need to give certain permissions so these are predefined into that application so that's the these are the permissions which are defined in this payload so we would have almost every access to that android device we would be you know kind of an administrator into the android device we can use it the way we want so these are the commands that you can see or modify here itself and then rebind the file right so we will not be getting much into this 
uh, into some other video i'll explain you since you know uh, it would be a series where we would be taking this uh, android hacking into the uh, uh, i would say over the van so we need to you know digitally sign the application as well as you know we will be binding the codes into some trustable application because you know this simple payload will be detected by uh, most of the antivirus that uh, you know people use on the on the mobile phone so we would be binding these uh, this payload into some uh, you know gaming application or some other useful application that you know can be trusted easily by the user as well as the antivirus so that being said let's close this and proceed to the next step and one more thing i would like to tell you whenever you install any application always check for the permissions you are giving like these are the permissions you know which has access to the camera sms calls everything basically everything so you need to make sure the permission you are giving is something you know under your limits otherwise simply don't use that application if you don't trust that so let's uh, proceed to the next step now let's transfer this uh, apk into our mobile phone for that you know i would be using i would be uh, just running the web server and accessing that onto my mobile so that i can easily transfer the file you can use you know other methods like a usb or sending through email uh, might be that email not work because you know that file will be detected by the uh, email default antivirus so i would be using the web server for that uh, let's move this file to the web server directory so apk to the where that's the web server apache website directory access denied because i'm not using the sudo access So let's see if the file is there, then we will run the web server and access that on the mobile phone. Okay, so that file is there. Now let's run the web server for that. Service Apache 2 start. Right, so let's see if the service is running. I'm, I'm sure that's running. However, let's make sure. Okay, it's running. So let's access the uh, web server directory on the mobile phone and download the file, the payload. Uh, for that, I have uh, already casted my mobile devices here. Let me show you. I'm opening that now. Okay, let me run the web server on the mobile. Let me access the file here. All right, so the IP address of our system was 192.168.1. Should be it, and as you can see, uh, the file that we want to download is here updater.apk. So, you know, that way we have to uh, convince our target to download the file, or you know, there are different techniques like social engineering, which is more powerful. In the coming videos, I'll show you how to you know use that technique more uh, efficiently to convince your target. So, hit OK. Right, so you need to enable the unknown source here which I have already enabled so make sure you know it's enabled since you know you are downloading the, the file from a unknown source or untrusted source which is you know not the play store so by default you know you have to enable this otherwise you will not be able to install the application or the payload that you have downloaded so let's now uh, the payload has already been downloaded so let's install it Right, so these are the permission that this application has and you always need to check while installing any application so you can see run at startup prevent phone from sleeping set wallpaper so basically everything every control this application has over your phone once you install it so let's install it and uh, before this we also you know to make sure uh, we are running the msf console the meta exploit session the listener so that you know whenever this application sends the uh, information or the data or the communication packets to the uh, server we would be able to you know uh, track down and have control over the mobile phone 
So let's uh, create the listener before we, you know, completely install this app on the phone. So here we need to open another terminal and let's have the uh, sudo access first. Let's minimize the other windows so that we can see what exactly we are doing. So service PostgreSQL start because you know that's the database being maintained by the uh, Metasploit. So always run this, you know, uh, after this the Metasploit console function would be smooth. Otherwise that might take a while to, you know, uh, basically start at first. So now let's start the MSF console. So now, okay, so now let's align the terminal so that we can see the commands that we are performing here. So let's uh, start our listener here. Use exploit, then do multi handler. Right, and then set the payload that we have already used, which is N. set the end host which is local host and the port that we would be listening to so let's set the local host which is set end host and that is 192.168.34.143 and the L port as well So all set. Now let's start the listener before we uh, completely install the payload on the mobile phone on our target. So that is exploit. So now it's listening onto the uh, local host and the port we have defined. So let's now uh, install the app on the phone and you would see the metaphorical session would be launched here. Uh, let me pull up the mobile screen. So install anyway as it's you know obvious warning or you know something that is expected so ignore and install it since we are doing it in a trusted environment okay so let's open this all right so as you can see the metaphoric session has already been launched as soon as we install it since our listener is active on the uh, predefined local host and port so you know one thing we also need to make sure that you know the the metaphoric session should not close when we lock out the device you know that happens quite often so make sure you know uh, you uh, enable the command which is let me show you first help and that's the command that we need to use enable disable the wake lock so that you know whenever the phone get locks your metaphoric session will not be interrupted or closed so let's enable this so now even if you you know lock the device or unlock the device the matter session would be you know continuous and will not be blocked or closed right and you can also hide the application icon but we will not be doing it since it's a trusted environment we are not doing something illegal so you know that command can be used to hide the application icon let me show you the app icon that you know we have right now so that is the main activity the icon of the file that has been created we can also hide that using the metaprator command so since we have control over the device now let's execute the commands that we have uh, you can also use help command to check the options that you have which we have already used so these so these are the commands that you can use on the exploited devices uh, so 
let's first you know simply use the command which is system info to check the information about the system the general information so that's the you know information about the system android 5.1 let me also show you on the mobile phone as well definitely match about the device that we have seen so you can see Android 5.1 all right so that's the the version exactly the system information that we have according to the matter practice session so since we have you know uh, control of the device you can do whatever you want like uh, you can check the webcam and you can you know click the photos without the target being you know alerted or being known about the things that you're doing so let me show you uh, you can you know perform basic commands like pwd which is print working directory that is the working directory so you can also check whether the device is rooted if the device is rooted means you can do everything whatever you want check root the device is not rooted you can also dump the call logs right so the the call logs has been dumped into this file that is on the desktop since we have launched the session on the desktop directory so everything the the things that you would be downloaded will be here on the desktop so you can see the call history of your target simply you can dump the sms it can be uh, deadly if you know you can dump the sms means if you you know doing something in the background you can you know uh, use their uh, banking credential or the target you know would be completely unaware about the otps would be sent to them because you can easily dump the otp as soon as they receive it and you can you know exploit that so that's how the black hat works but we are not supposed to do that and i will also request you never do that because you know that will land you in jail for sure so don't do that it is just for the practice as i mentioned in the beginning so don't try this on to some other phone which you are not permitted to or don't involve in any illegal activity that's for just educational purpose you can also you know uh, record the audio the mic without your target being you know known about that so for this you need to use record mic and minus d to define the time 20 seconds all right so the sound will be recorded i'll show you it's getting recorded and after 20 seconds that will be stopped automatically and the file will be created on the desktop again i'll show you okay so the file has been created let me play this so simply in that way you can uh, record the voice you can also check the webcam which is the you know the camera you can see the list which is back camera and the front camera you can use the simple uh, stream command okay so here the file is created uh, let me open this I have enabled uh, HTML file to open with the text editor so that's why you know it's opening into the text editor by default otherwise you know that should launch a uh, web browser with the webcam details or the webcam capture as you can see now here right so that's the, the webcam of your target machine let me minimize the size and show you let me show you on the mobile see that that mobile screen is off uh, it means your target will be completely unaware about the things that you're doing on the mobile and you can do whatever you want so let's close this S so similarly you can also check uh, the so you can check the user onto which the payload is running to you can show the process as well these are the process running into the target as of now right so similarly you can also check the network setting of your target device so i believe the you know the basic things about the 
android hack has already been explained and the base has already been made so in the next video as i mentioned in the beginning uh, we would be you know checking how to take this uh, over the van or the internet since we are doing this in the local area network which is the trusted environment in the virtual lab so the next video would be more practical and uh, something that you would be also looking for uh, we would be using uh, the you know the apk tool as well to bind the application the payload into some trusted application and you know sending it uh, to the device that we would be using and you know that can be done globally and if you like the video please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you would be getting all the updates regarding the videos that would be posted in the future and if you don't like it uh, please let us know in the comment section so that we can improve you know it takes lots of efforts to you know upload and make these videos for you so that you know that can be something different from others we are not here you know just to get the likes and comments if you learn something that is something you know we have achieved and you can also write us on the website uh, cyberaster.com going to the feedback form and please it's a humble request please don't ask us to hack anyone we are not black hats we are not into the you know uh, hacking the system or unauthorized devices if you have something genuine request we definitely reply on to that but if you you know request something like which is unreasonable like hacking some devices or hacking your friend's website we will not do it and we also not suggest anyone to do that so that being said thank you so much for sharing your time take good care of yourself goodbye